This video shows the creation of lifters for solid wall panels in the, inside the Revit Precast tools. If I do the segmentation for this wall, the program automatically creates the lifter for each panel. We have here two different panel lengths and both have two lifters. When I go to the configuration, I find under the definition of part the lifters. We can define our own lifters with family, what we choose here, also with the family type. Then we can define the minimum distance of the lifters to the edge and to openings. Here is the maximum weight of what the lifter can lift. I change this value to a more realistic value of 4 tons. Here we can also define the panel height from which lifters on the side are created. This means if the panel is higher than 5 meters, lifter on the side of the panels will be created automatically. If I split this wall again with the new maximum lifter capacity of 4 tons, we see that the bigger wall has now four lifters and the other one still two. Before I split this wall, which has a height of 6.5 meters, I go to the IDAT project data. Under segmentation, we find here the maximum wall height and length for the segmentation. I change now the maximum length to 3 meter and the maximum height to 7 meters. When I split this wall now, I get three, uh, panels with 3 meter lengths and with 6.5 meter height. For these panels, I need the lifter on the side to lift the panels in the factory and for transportation. We see they automatically created lifters on the side and we still have the lifter on the top for installation of the panels.